Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Whiskey Isle. I am your host, as always, Nicholas Palaki. I'm joined today by the wonderful Mr. Ian Chang and Jim Swan from Cavalan uh, Taiwanese Single Malt Whiskey. Gentlemen, thanks so much for coming to join us in the Whiskey Isle. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. So, gentlemen, tell me, how did Cavalan come to be? Right, Cavalan is uh, at the moment the one and only distillery in Taiwan, and uh, our chairman, Mr. Lee Senior, he uh, he likes whiskey a lot. And also, he sees the uh, the potential of uh, whiskey, you know, as a product in Taiwan. And that's why, as soon as the uh, Taiwanese government changed the uh, regulation of allowing uh, private companies to build their own distilleries, he uh, wasted no time. So he started his own distillery in uh, 2005, and it took us about only nine months to build a distillery. So I. I personally think that it was wow. a record time. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's right. And uh, for all the uh, commissioning and all the installation of the equipment, it took us one, one, uh, one month and 15 days, which is another record again. So uh, our distillery was up and running uh, on the 11th of March 2006 at precisely 3.30 p.m. That was a very historical moment for us because that was the time when the very first drop of Taiwanese new make was produced. And we've been uh, producing whiskey ever since, non-stop. Tell us, how does the climate in Taiwan affect the maturation process? It affects it very significantly. Um, actually, nowadays if I'm asked to build a distillery, I'd sooner build one in a hot climate than a cold climate. Although it was cold climates that created great whiskies, Scotland and Ireland notably. Um, but in the hot climate, you have to change the production process. The parameters have to be different because, for example, um, when you put whiskey into a barrel, you want wood extract, that's obvious. And the hotter it is, the faster that occurs. But there's another mechanism that takes place in, there's more than one mechanism, another one that takes place in the wood, is the removal of undesirable flavours from the new make whiskey. Now, that's very slow and that could give you a problem if you're in a hot climate. So the answer is, don't make it in the first place. It's not the new make spirit, you don't have to take it out. Um, and you find Carvelands a very, very clean whiskey to drink as new make spirit. If you can drink and enjoy the new make spirit, it's going to mature nicely. In your opinion, do you think Eastern whiskies will rival the West, or do you think they'll just help with stock constraints that we see out of Scotland and things like that? Interesting question. Uh, obviously it is going to help stock constraints because there are very severe stock constraints and we're going to find that old whiskies are going to disappear because they were never made as fast as they're being drunk now. But um, one thing that I think is different about the Far East is that they are perfectionists. If you think of televisions and cameras and so on, when they were made in the West they always broke down. Now they don't break down, you never even think of a television set breaking down. Um, and so they are perfectionists. Uh, I think we'll see the ideas come from the West and the perfection comes from the East. And together we'll, we'll finish up with plenty of whiskey to drink. 